Hi guys, hi Aquarius couples. I guess I'm starting with Aquarius couples, right? I just said it. <laughs> hi Aquarius couples, how are you guys? I'm Phoenix Rising. If you're hearing my voice or seeing my big old head, you're watching my channel. Welcome Aquarius couples, how are you guys? Okay, I'm doing a love read for you guys. So, um, this love read uh, is timeless. We want you to know whenever you get it, it's when you're supposed to get it. Take what resonates, throw the west in the fucking garbage in the lake. It doesn't matter what lake, just throw it away. It's not for you. It's for another Aquarius, okay? One of your fellow brothers or sister Aquarians. So take what resonates, throw the rest in the garbage. And it's, it's timeless. So Spirit says whenever you get it, it's when you're supposed to get it. And I'm trying to think what else I was going to say. Oh, so book me for a personal uh, reading on Cash App. Me a donation is in the description box or on my page. Um, what else I was going to say? You must be an Aquarius or have it in your birth chart. Or you must be dating an Aquarius and a relationship with an Aquarius, or they must have it in their birth chart for this to resonate. I always tell people to check their North Node, their Rising, their Venus, because my Venus is, I'm a Sagittarius, but my Venus is an Aquarius. So um, my love life is all about Aquarius, so that would resonate for me if I was in a relationship. So you know what I'm saying? But I'm a Sagittarius on the chart, though. So here we go. Anyway, I just feel like people need to look at their birth chart to get more into who they are as a person. Okay, so anyway, Aquarius couples, we're going to get messages now. I already charged the cards under the full moon and sage them. So let's get messages for Aquarius couples. Spirit guys, Mike Archangel, give me messages for Aquarius couples, for the collective that watch me, and for cross watchers, and for the collective that will watch me. Messages for Aquarius couples, please. Spirit guys, messages for Aquarius couples, please. I'm going to do four cards from this deck, and then I'm going to do uh, um, confirmation for my rider deck right here. From So I'll do confirmation for each card, okay? And I'm stopping at two. Zero and one. Yep, there we go. Negotiator, bargaining, begging. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. You can't be dealing with one or it could be in their um, birth chart. That's why I said birth chart is important. Um, whoever this is wants to negotiate or talk to you about something maybe they've done. Um, I feel as your mate. I feel like um, somebody might feel like they need to beg at this point because they know they've done something really fucked up. I feel like it has something to do with money or infidelity. Or cheating. Okay, for some of you, it's got something to do with making a baby. Today, present, now, in the moment. Okay, with two, three, four on the clock, we're going to see what type of mess, what type of order, what type of destruction, whatever it is that's going on at the present time. Because I'm feeling like this negotiating and begging is something that's going to go on, um, you know, very soon. You have a lock up. Mm, I don't even know why I said, I meant to say lockbox. Somebody could have been going to jail. I don't know where that came from, okay? But I got locked box, um, closed in, trapped, and frustrated. This is an eight of swords energy. This is like a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, of course. This is a hopeless somebody. Either you might be like, I'm done with this shit. I'm over it. I'm eight of swords. They might feel 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 tied to you still. Or you might find this energy is still tying you down. But it might be too much drama. You might feel hopeless for some of you. That's how they feel. They're causing you too much drama. Financial support, child, um, alimony, and government. So there's something going on with money. We're going to see what's going on with that. Bottom of the deck, Aquarius couples, you got insatiable, in, unquenchable, wanting more, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. You got that at the beginning. So you got water at the beginning and the end. That's important. This is all about mental clarity and feelings. A lot of feelings going on, Aquarius, in this reading. Okay, let's see. It says negotiator, bargaining and begging. Why is that here for Aquarius couples? Negotiator, bargaining, begging. Someone's bargaining and begging, baby, I'm begging. They Joe seeing you right now. They on their knees. They voice the man in your ass. They like, man, I'm fucked up. I want to create and connect with four on the clock. Stability. And they want to be secure. They want to offer you security. And they want to be stable and not be unstable in and out your life. And coming back and forth. They're like, damn, I don't want to keep doing that. They had you in competition. Like I said, the five of wands in reverse. It's definitely competition you didn't want to be in. Okay? So I feel like there was some... There was some, yeah, there was some competition that they had you in with the five of wands, okay? Um, and I feel like they want to come in and negotiate about the the competition they had you in with the five of wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Energy, because there was conflict. There was crisis. Like I said, competition. And this was unstable. This means there was no stability with this situation. Just as quick as it start, it'll burn out with four, four, four on the clock. There was no security or stability. Shit just blazed and went out fast. So when it was good, it was good real fast. But this is compromise in conflict. This is what this person want to do because they had you in conflict. So I, they like, hey, you know what? I need to compromise in the conflict. 
Okay, they want peace. Because at one time, I feel like they tried to intimidate you or they was looking for a fight or they was cool with this bullshit with five, six on the clock in that order, as Mama D would say. Then you got the star card. That's Aquarius energy. That is your energy. The star card is you blossoming into the motherfucking star. You going for what the fuck you know. This is like um, the star card is definitely an energy of um, focused on a goal, inspired, being positive, renewal. I feel like you doing some spiritual healing while they was fucking around. You calm, you know what I'm saying? This woman is naked on this card. This is like a spiritual bath, um, becoming closer to Gaia, coming, becoming closer to the higher power. Like spending more time focusing on you instead of this situation. This situ I feel like you're content too. They see you as a starter. Whatever you got going on, career or whatever you got going on, job or your money, your bag, it, they like you got the shit going on. That's And that's, you know, they, hey, 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 hey. they need to come in and say something to you. The three of wands was at the bottom of the deck. That is planning cautiously. They, I think they have a vision. They, they, they want to be happy with the choices they make. So they're taking their time. I feel like it could have been three people you was in competition with. Well, you and two other people. Sorry. Today. Ooh, ooh, okay. Today. Present. Now. In the moment. You got the seven of swords. Look. They want you back. Like, okay, 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 okay. Okay, look, it's a like present time today in the moment, right? Today, in the moment, present time. Seven of Swords, they want to come clean and confess. They, they've they been two-faced to you. They're too cowardly to come. To come. They, it's like they got caught. Somebody got caught and they're like, damn, I need to say something. I've been doing some real malicious shit to this person. I've been on some real mindfuckery games, okay, with the Seven of Swords. That's what the Swords is all about, the mind. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. They've been trying to mindfuck you, Aquarius. But they seen you building. Look at this. With the eight of pentacles. They seen you going for your goals, doing what the fuck you had to do, staying focused. You like, I got them eight pentacles. I'm going for the mother two motherfucking pentacles. I'm gonna have my ten of pentacles. Fuck with you, Tom Bell. <laughs> the nine, the uh, eight of pentacles is definitely um quality and commitment. Concentrating, okay, on getting results. That's what they doing as well. They they concentrating on getting good re results with you. Okay, they want commitment from you. They want to come clean, they want commitment. Okay, and then also the eight of um pinnacles is definitely um concentrating on success. That's you you concentrating on the bag and getting your life and your money together and your spiritual life. They concentrating on getting you back. Because they, they showing up as the king of pinnacles. They ain't got no more fighting them. I mean, yeah, they money, they money bag. The king of pinnacles in reverse is uh uh, 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 energy of uh, and the nine of the nine of wands is Leo Sagittarius, Aries energy. This is Virgo Taurus, Capricorn energy. The nine of wands is in reverse, is withdrawing, dropping their guard, feeling vulnerable, giving up because they know they ain't fucked up. Their money ain't right with the King of Pentacles. Some it's like some type of greed that was going on. This person is disloyal. They was fruitless. They could have gambled a lot. Okay, they use bad judgment with money. Their poor judgment. That's why they broke because they was greedy, hasty, moving too fast. Could be a fire sign, king of wands. It could have had some addiction issues. Someone was dealing with a karmic. I ain't even going on to the other cards yet. The deck just talking. Your king of wands was addicted to this karmic. King, if you had Leo Sagittarius Aries energy, this is a, a guy that was a, a, has a way with words. Okay, they could be somewhat of a hot tempered person. And then you got the uh, devil in the middle. This is an addiction. Okay, dependency. They could have been drugs, alcohol, sex, porn, pornography, prostitution. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Theft. It could be anything they addicted to. Popping molly, sip, sipping syrup, alcohol. This is depression, obsession, hopelessness, broke. Okay, abuse and mental mental issues. They was dealing with a karmic. Okay, that's why the wheel of fortune is in reverse. <laughs> and the karmic was all bad. This is Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus energy. Okay, the wheel of fortune means the wheel was spinning back in their favor. They fucked it up. This is someone that dealt with a karmic, unwelcoming changes came, delays, and that's why you guys are having a setback because of this situation, lack of control. But justice is coming for you because somebody made a bad choice. The Seven of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Somebody made a real fucked up choice here. Yeah, look, Three of, three of Swords, they want reconciliation. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. They know that it caused you tears, heartache, and pain. I keep saying three, it could have been you and two other people. Okay, and you like it could have been three people. Shit, for some of this, some it could be two or three people. Okay, this is uh optimistic. Okay, they're trying to be optimistic. This is what they they want. They want to apologize with the justice card. They can have some legal disputes too. That's some life lessons this person is learning. Karma kicking their ass. I might name it that. Lockbox. 
closed in trapped? Why is lockbox closed in trapped here for my Aquarius couples? Lockbox closed in trapped. Aquarius couples. Okay, the six of wands is that uh they they in lockdown, they in mental, they want they want wish fulfillment with you. Okay, the the ten is kind of overkill in tarot. So it's like having your hopes up too high. The nine is, is completion. This is what they want. Ten is overload. Nine is completion. Okay, this is wish fulfillment. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They want wish fulfillment with you. But they in lockdown or either they're not talking right now, they're acting funny or whatever the case may be. Um, because they know they're unpopular to you with the six of want six of wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and do they know they was disloyal? They know they broke promises. They know they was egotistical. This is failure. They failed you. And they're thinking about that. The Knight of Wands Swords is here because um, this is one of them. They want to be honest, brave, and they want to come in with clarity. They want to take a risk and be rebellious. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Now, why is the financial support card here for my Aquarius couples? Why is the financial support card here for my Aquarius couples, please, Spirit? Financial support. Uh -oh. Financial support. Ew. Yeah. Uh, somebody on child support with the Six of Cups in reverse. This is the... They owe, they owe some money. Yeah, the Four of Pentacles is... Um, they could have been selfish with the money. They could have owed some debt. This is being stingy and keeping shit to themselves to, from you and from, I feel like, a baby mama, baby daddy. Or there's somebody else that they could have gave more to that was owed to a child is how I'm feeling. Um, this is, um, yeah, because I'm seeing a kid anyway. This is uh, Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. Okay, they could have gave more and they were only thinking about themselves. You see, all the money is under their feet. They were only thinking about themselves. They weren't thinking about their kids either. This is the Ace of Pentacles. That's why they broke. Okay, so this is definitely... Um, Virgo towards Capricorn energy. This is greed and power. And someone's going to owe money. Okay, they're going to be broke behind this. Six of Cups is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. That is letting go of the past, focusing on the future. But it's also, um, for me, childhood things, like dealing with kids. Okay? And and because they left somebody in the past hanging, I feel like they owe child support for that part. They left a kid hanging or something like that. And, and I don't mean no woman or man. I mean, they left a child hanging. And they ain't been doing right. Insatiable. I'm going to take um, <clears throat> unquenchable and wanting more. Okay. It's unsatiable. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Recalling and reminiscing of memories is also Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy I'm picking up. Okay. So I feel like they find you insatiable. I feel like they know they fucked you over and they really feel like they can't live without you. So why do it? But they ego. If you just say that, I feel like somebody ain't even expressing their feeling. I feel like you have no idea about any of this. Like you like, yeah, right. Because they're not opening their mouth. Yep. But they, they fin to. The Seven of Swords is coming clean. They're coming in with a text message, a phone call. This is what they're thinking about doing. But the Knight of Pentacles in reverse is the slowest night in the deck. It's in reverse. This is about disloyalty they did. Uncaring things. Okay? And they want to come in because they don't want nobody else to get their cookie. Okay? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy, Twice, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Energy. They want to come clean about the shit. They want to text you, call you, email you. They want to come clean about the shit that they did. The Knight of Pentacles shit. The greed. Okay, the gambling, the ruthlessness. They want to cut, and this is a hasty decision they want to make really fast. Okay, I'm gonna get three more cards for Aquarius before I go. Boys, because I'm at 15 minutes almost. Give me three more cards for Aquarius couples. Spirit advice going forward for Aquarius couples going forward advice. Oof. The fool in reverse. Aries, Taurus energy. The death card in reverse. They giving y'all Pacific advice. Okay, yeah, so three of, three of swords is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy. Again, they want to reconcile at the bottom of the deck because they know they did you wrong. So this is them really wanting reconciliation. Now, the fool in reverse, like I said, is Aries, Taurus, energy. The death card uh, in reverse is Scorpio, energy. And then the, um, the wands is Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, energy. So what I can tell you about this fool card in reverse is, is letting you know... Um, it's, it's like a lack of fun, okay? It's saying don't be stupid and don't neglect yourself, okay? Don't let this person be a distraction because they seem like they they um, they um could somewhat still be playing somewhat of some type of game with the fool in reverse. The fool upright would tell you just to go for it. Freedom, jump into it, but it's telling you to kind of halt with the fool in reverse. Like, don't be no fool in reverse, okay? Don't make a foolish jump. Don't think before you leap. 
Okay, the death card is definitely um, letting you know um, it's like fear of new beginnings and someone could be wanting just to repeat a negative pattern. Okay? And the three of wands is Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. This is definitely um, planning cautiously, okay? And being happy with your choices. And so if you want to be happy with your choices with 15, 15 on the clock, they're telling you to basically read through the bullshit of this person. You know this person better than I do. So you know when they're lying and when they're on bullshit. You don't know if they're genuine or not. You don't know if it's just a repeated pattern. Don't fool yourself. Don't be self-deceiving, okay? Okay, Aquarius couples, this has been your love read. Click like, subscribe, share me, come back and see me. Um, yeah, they miss you with the eight of cups at the bottom. They made a bad decision. Okay. <laughs> I'm still flipping. Okay, guys. Click like, subscribe, share me, come back and see me. I'm on Aquarius Singles. I hope you guys enjoyed. Till next time, I'm sending you love and light. Don't forget for a personal read or to cash out me a donation. It's in the description box, baby. See you next time. See you.